Today I've got two thought-provoking quotes for you. One is from A Course in Miracles and the other one is from ancient Greek philosopher Epicurus. So if you're interested to hear those, please stick around. Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I've got two great quotes for you. The first one is from A Course in Miracles, which I was reading just last night. I've got the new habit of reading A Course in Miracles a little bit each night before I sleep. And it's a really great way to send yourself off into sleep every day because I was doing the whole thing of watching too many YouTube videos at night and then of course you don't sleep so well. And you know how it is. At 8.30 you say to yourself, yeah, I'll just watch a couple of YouTube videos and I'll switch it off at 9 o'clock. And then all of a sudden it's 9.30 and you're like, oh, just one more. And then it's 11 and you're like, I'm never getting off YouTube. So I've brought in this brilliant new habit of, um, of reading A Course in Miracles each night. And this is a kind of giant piece of work that I have been dipping into over many years. Uh, I remember I had it on my Kindle on one of the flights from Sydney to London and yeah, instead of watching films, I read huge amounts of it and I underlined bits. I don't know if you can see, I'll, maybe I'll show you a, a grab of how I'm always underlining the good bits. And since then, I think that was some years ago, I really got into this piece of work and I find it, it's just a wonderful tonic and you can use it as an oracle. You know, if you're going through a tough time, you can just open it up randomly and see what advice you get. Okay, so that's a good little tip. You can definitely use this as an oracle. It's really good for that. But last night I read this and I thought, oh, I have to share it with you. This is just so good. So the part is T-5.5.5. I'll write it in the description below. And it goes like this. It says, the guiltless mind cannot suffer. Being sane, the mind heals the body because the mind has been healed. The same mind cannot conceive of illness because it cannot conceive of attacking anyone or anything. I said before that illness is some form of magic. It might be better to say that it is a form of magical solution. The ego believes that by punishing itself, it will mitigate the punishment of God. Yet even in this, it is arrogant. It attributes to God a punishing intent and then takes this intent as its own prerogative. It tries to usurp all the functions of God as it perceives them because it recognizes that only total allegiance can be trusted. The part that really struck me yesterday that I thought I have to share this with you is the part where it says, the sane mind cannot conceive of illness because it cannot conceive of attacking anyone or anything. I thought that was so profound. And I remember last year I was really contemplating that thing of attack energy and how that works. And that is a fascinating thing when we contemplate and reflect on and see within ourselves, where are we attacking? And we do, you know, and I was observing that in myself in a big way last year. I was seeing myself attacking a lot. <laughs> and I was like, God, I don't want to do that. Um, it's hard. This is a challenging world in which to live. And that's why we need great wisdom like this. And of course, great wisdom from Epicurus. Let's see what he has to say. So this morning on my app, I'll tell you which app it is. It's the first one I downloaded was the Stoic. And then I've got this one called Greek Wisdom. So if you're interested um, in those, you can have a look at those apps and they give you a little burst of wisdom every single day. I just love it. So today's burst of wisdom was you don't develop courage by being happy in your relationships every day. You develop it by surviving difficult times and challenging adversity. Look at that. How good is that? I'm going to read it again. You don't develop courage by being happy in your relationships every day. You develop it by surviving difficult times and challenging adversity. Absolutely. We are living in difficult times and times of adversity. So we are being asked to develop courage. That's how we're going to get through. And I loved reading this message. And it's really interesting. It says here, you don't develop courage by being happy in your relationships every day. 
And in yesterday's video, towards the end, I think I said the advice I gave was, please be peaceful and please be happy, because your happiness is a gift to the collective. So that was a slightly different point that I was making. That advice still stands, but here it's kind of saying that, you know, if you're happy all the time, there's no need for you to develop courage. And I think this is a time where we are all being asked to be more courageous. And, um, and find the inner leader within. And I do think that when Saturn moves into Capricorn, that's gonna be particularly important and relevant. But I just wanted to share that little burst of wisdom, those two little bursts of wisdom with you. I hope it provides some interesting food for thought. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe, please like, and I look forward to seeing you next time.